I am Shankara Narayanan, and I am a VP and Managing Director of the Credit and Fraud Risk Center of Excellence in India. And I just finished my keynote speech uh, at the Cypher 2022 conference, wherein I spoke about uh, data science and AI ML usage, uh, how it has evolved uh, through the course of the pandemic with the changing credit and fraud risk landscape. And basically what it is uh, pointing out is the changing economic environment heavily influenced by the pandemic, how it has required companies like American Express to compress, to create a lot of innovations um, in terms of the data we get, as well as the techniques we use uh, to convert that data into intelligence, uh, and also how to uh, constantly uh, train and retrain our models so that they stay accurate in terms of making the key predictions that they are intended to make. Uh, and uh, the basic storyline was, uh, we went back to the basics in terms of getting uh, trade line level raw data. Uh, we have incorporated the latest and greatest in machine learning in terms of converting that data into intelligence. And we've also built in technologies like uh, automated model retraining uh, that allows us to keep the models uh, up to date in their accuracy levels. And we've been, the pandemic, what it has done is uh, required us to kind of accelerate and compress a lot of those innovations within a very small space of time, uh, whereas otherwise they might have taken a few years to happen. The pandemic accelerated, accelerated a lot of those innovations. So that's, I would say, is in a nutshell of uh, what I spoke about this morning at Cypher. So uh, some of the biggest changes that are happening are uh, going to non-conventional sources of data. Uh, so for example, uh, we asked our customers to provide uh, their bank statements as, a, uh, as an example, uh, which allows us to get a fairly deep look into their personal finances as well as more up-to-date. So if the customer can provide us their recent bank statement, it gives us up-to-date information on that customer. And usually, some customers like to provide this in the form of a statement printout. And to convert that statement into usable data intelligence, you have to apply some of the newer technologies in order to be able to do that, uh, combining both technologies like optical character recognition with AI ML techniques uh, to convert that into uh, usable data uh, so that we can extract the intelligence and feed it into our models. So these are some of the examples uh, of what we are doing. Um, and uh, we have to do some of these innovations uh, to make sure that we're using all the data that is available on a customer and make, our best, make the best decisions possible. Uh, so, uh, uh, it's not an easy thing to do, first of all, I would say, in order to uh, scale up. So, I would say be very disciplined about finding the specific use cases that are very value-added for your uh, company, uh, and then be able to prioritize and invest in them, uh, and then have very organized efforts at uh, incorporating them into your business, um, and uh, you know have also a long-term vision so that you can take these uh, smaller pieces that you're building and then weave them into some kind of a, a longer range plan uh, and we and work across the organization. So uh, we in credit and fraud risk have to work with our partners in uh, uh, servicing as well as our partners, partners in our technology teams uh, in order to make these things happen. So make sure you're working on some kind of an enterprise level blueprint uh, as we are doing your own specific innovations. Uh, but yeah, don't, uh, don't aim for big bang, uh, aim for small incrementals that weave into something that is a more longer term strategic picture. I think it's only been a couple of hours since I've been here at Cypher 2022 and I already see a lot of energy. Uh, and even just in the few uh, people I have met as well as the uh, speeches that I've heard, there's already a whole lot of uh, information and knowledge that is coming out, and it just broadens your mind. Uh, and I am hoping that over the course of the next two, three days, uh, I meet as many people as I can, learn as much as I can, and hopefully in some way, shape or form, I am better off for it and I bring that to bear in some of the work I'm doing for American Express. So that's at the end of the day, the type of, uh, uh, you know, the uh, benefit that I hope to gain from attending a conference like this. And uh, I think it's fantastic that after a 
three year period, we are back in person having these conferences and it'll only grow from here. And I look forward to meeting uh, all of the different professionals in my industry and learn from them.